Okay, so not going to waste your time here. Go to test game and click settings. Make it a smaller window so that it's easier to see. Otherwise, you're going to, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so you put your player name in at the top. Uh, enable that and you will see the players in the match. Uh, on this screen as well, under the dojo tab, uh, this is where you enable your left thumbstick. You play on an analog stick, you're welcome. Switch that to full and you're good to go. That should be under the controls tab, but it isn't. Let's skip general, go to controls, find your controller here. Uh, make sure it's set to port A. I'm using my fight commander. Press map. And since you're playing a Naomi game, uh, you want to set your arcade controls because Naomi only uses arcade. It's an arcade game. If you're playing a Dreamcast game on Fight K2, make sure you're setting your Dreamcast controls no matter what, no matter what kind of controller you use. Okay. So here you use button one, two, and three for Virtual Fighter 4. Uh, there are macros, but that's punch, kick, and guard respectively, I believe. So you're done with that. You're going to move on to the video tab. Uh, with this transparent sorting, I thought it fixed the water on the harbor stage while I was messing around with it. If you have a good enough computer, use per pixel. If not, stay to per triangle because I noticed like the colors on the back of Jackie's jacket disappear when you use per strip. It's a weird bug. Okay. Uh, Widescreen is a really cool option if your computer can deal with it. It lets you see more of the game. I'll show that off in a second. Uh, I don't know if this is like kosher for online play because it's technically seeing more of the stage. So I, I don't recommend it, I guess. But it's cool to play arcade mode and have that on. Uh, anisotropic filtering uh, lets removes all the jaggeds when uh, jagged edges when you uh, see textures from an angle. If your computer can handle it, you want to crank this up as much as possible because it makes the game look great. Uh, texture filtering, the default is nearest neighbor. Uh, all these options basically do the same thing. If you want to disable VSync and your monitor outputs more than sixty hertz, you want to limit the frame rate in something like. Uh, NVIDIA control panel because otherwise the game will run at a higher speed. Uh, I just leave this enabled or you can disable it if you have a 60 hertz monitor without much trouble. Uh, the graphics API down here you've got OpenGL and you've got Vulkan. If your computer was made in like the last seven years I highly recommend using Vulkan. On OpenGL only two stages are playable. I believe it is the city runs the best. And the other one is the one with the terrible music. I want to say it was called The Hanger or something. Uh, that song is awful. I'm mostly making the video just so that people quit picking that stage and be able to run the rest of them. So I net played with a friend and we were using Vulcan and it ran every stage fine. And if you want your game to be super pretty, you can increase the resolution of it. And uh, that's it for this tab. Uh, anisotropic filtering and internal resolution increase with the Vulkan renderer. Uh, some widescreen and some per pixel sorting and you're in business. Uh, the audio. So I guess the GGPO audio syncing, a lot of emulators, if they can't render the audio, it will really make the game chug. So a GGPO latency buffer was set too low is the theory. Just increase it from 64 to 80. I think this is a really good idea. It's recommended on the wiki, uh, the MS for the latency. In the advanced tab, I believe all there is, yeah, the multi-threaded emulation. This can help on some rigs, uh, PCs. So test that out if you're having issues. And you're done. Uh, that's it for the settings on Flycast. Let's see how this looks. And you'd see the widescreen, uh, the black borders don't compensate for it. But look at this. On the harbor stage, water looks good. Anti-aliasing is pretty great. Uh, in the video section, you can show your FPS counter. And with that, you can see in the bottom left, I am at an appropriate frame rate to be playing the game. And this is actually how you play Virtua Fighter 4, if you're interested.
Now, moving on to something I believe NYC Furby made a video about. In your NVIDIA control panel, you have a NVIDIA graphics card. You go to the program settings and add broadcast. It'll be at like the top of the list if you just used it uh, to the programs you want to customize. Go down. In low latency mode, you want to set that to ultra. If you had shut off VSync and have like 144 hertz monitor or whatever, uh, your frame rate cap is right here. You want to set that to 60. And power management mode, prefer maximum performance. This decreases the input latency you're going to deal with. Uh, as that's what the low latency mode does. And this just affects stability. And that should be it. I hope to see you guys on Virtual Fighter 4 Final Tuned on Fightcade 2. And I hope this helped your experience. Please subscribe if this did. And please quit picking that stage that you fight uh, the last boss on, Doral. That song is terrible.